Okay, so um, this is kind of where I'm at. This is the radius you see here is for the back of the seat, right? So this is obviously curved, and according to the plans, it's three inches, okay? So what I did was I laid out the inside space of that fuselage, okay, left and right. And this radius here, in order to get three inches, okay, it's 16 and a half inch radius. So I made a mark down here. I just took a piece of quarter inch cap strip from the last airplane project, uh, drilled the hole here in the cap strip, put a nail and put a pen in the other end and just drew a quick arc. Okay, it just takes a few seconds, no big deal. Um, drew a center line, of course. And so that is my pattern. I need to match that. Uh, I'm not sure how others do it, uh, but cold bending is pretty hard on 5 8 inch tubing. So what I did was I just made a jig. I just took a 2x6 scrap I had laying around, a 2x4, nailed it together. I threw uh, these Nibco two-hole straps on there. I did the same over here. Okay, I clamped this down. I originally wasn't, I was going to do this outside, so that's why this is here. Um, probably isn't necessary, you can just probably get away with just that, but uh, I sort of changed my mind, and so this is what I kind of, I don't know, kind of left with, I guess. But this, that's clamped, I can start bending this. Okay, so I'm going to go on the other side, I'm going to push this in, and I'm going to heat this up. You can see that I made marks every four inches okay that way I know you know I can heat evenly I can just kind of work my way and just make sure it's distributed evenly because I want a really nice arc you know it's a very visible piece so I don't want flat spots in it I want it to look decent so it may be a little you know overkill how I did this but uh, pretty sure it'll work so as I heat it I'm just gonna start slowly bending this and instead of actually pushing I'm going to grab this tail and push this way see it'll kind of create an arc and I already cold bent it a little bit just to kind of give me a head start but as I do that I'm going to take my pattern and I'm just going to hold it up there and just keep looking at it and see if it matches once I get to that point um, and that's it I'm just going to cut it and fit it in